<laughs> my one mana four or five with spell shield and impact. No, that's this is the correct chat for. It. Remember to wash your hands. Demacia. Oh, that Ari skin looks so good. Wow. I'm very impressed by the art. Okay. Um, build Rascal. We got Scrap Heap and a Jury Rig. Yeah, we'll keep this. Rumble Victor could definitely be a thing. And based on our curve, we'll take Von Mech. I wonder, is Ari Cannon just like the new Demacia Ionia Elusive Rally? Another Scrap Heap. This is usually what happens. It's like if Elusives uh, show up and then you've got challengers to kind of help out against those. Build Rat Rascal. Versus Mare. We'll save the Mare for like a turn where we can play him plus some other stuff. We'll just go with the Bilge Rascal. And get our next mech. Uh, we'll take Dune Hopper to keep going up the curve, I think. God Willow Seedling is very cute. And we can give them that trade of the Fleet Feather Tracker into the 3-2 because it's a challenger. It's going to take that trade anyway. And it's better to force it before they have a combat trick to potentially let it survive. Um, I'm going to pass. Simply because I want to see what they do. Okay, double droplet. We can throw a mare down here. Um, oh, Mecha Caster. Tenor of Terror is cute. They both get buffed by Yordle Explorer if you want to just keep going wide. We'll take Mecha Caster. Now, Dune Hopper has Spell Shield from Build Rascal. Oh, that's cute. Cannon level. Mecha Caster. Yeah, to boost the attack of Flame Chompers. Could be very strong. If we play Dune Hopper mech, we have mana open for Mystic Shot. Which I don't mind uh, going for here. Because Spell Shield means they can't hit this with like Will of Ionia or, or etc. Yeah, so we're just going to... Yeah, we'll just go ham like this. I think. I will say I am glad that elusives do seem to put you on, uh, you have a much longer clock than I think you used to historically. Um, I'm going to poke that just to draw a card and deny them one card. And if they use another card, then it evens out for me. Nice. Huh? Really? Yeah, see, the, so the uh, spell shield on that is super good. That's fine, actually. The sand soldier just gives me an ephemeral blocker. Here comes Ari. So I can block like this and then Mystic Shot the Droplet. So that uh, Dancing Droplet will die. And then Ari will die. Let's see what they do in response to this. Is the 4-3 tough bad? It was a little bit clunky, uh, Promoter. It was a little bit clunky when I tried it before. But it, it certainly could be good. We can Scrap Heap a Jury Rig. Let's just go for Bon Mech here. 
Ooh, we got Grenadier. Mark of the Storm to pop the Spell Shield. Very cool. So next round we can, uh... Ooh. This card is bad. It's not as good as Windfarer Hatchling because Windfarer Hatchling has Elusive. But the card draw is nice. Oh god, Poppy. Let's go. Also, yes, we've been do we've been going absolutely ballistic ham without bothering to <laughs> without even like worrying about with without even worrying about our champions. Yes, yeah, so we can just attack like this. Dune Hopper Mech creates the Sand Soldiers and then they get buffed. Oh god. I sure am glad my Poppy, you know, got nerfed. What the damn hell? Uh. Yeah, I'll see you in- I was just gonna say, I'll just let the combat through and see you in hell. Like. If, if none of the new, like, archetypes are, you know, speaking to you, then it, you don't necessarily need to, like, jump in and and uh, try to force it. Um, we'll keep this hand. You can mulligan the pokey stick there, I think, if you're looking really hard for a one drop or something. But overall, this is fine. Yo, what's up, Zanes? You got a satisfying concede, eh? I wonder if you play for mech decks as a swap rumble for something else in the future. Yeah, I think if you aren't playing like Jinx, rumble doesn't really do a lot because discarding three cards is a pretty hefty cost, for being honest. And a lot of our fodder is being used along the way to, to enable other mechs. And I'm assuming they've got Mystic Shot. I just experienced Yordle Explorer, what was Riot thinking? I, when I was testing on the server yesterday, Flindo, and I was running this deck, uh, Bilgewater PNZ, I was main decking triple Mystic Shot and triple um, Electro Harpoon to, to counter this. And I didn't run into a single, no, I ran into like one Yordle Explorer deck and there was only one game where it even mattered. Oh, Fury Horn Crasher? These are all pretty interesting options. Geode Mecha Forcer. No, we'll take Fury Horn Crasher. And I think that you don't you don't need to discard three. Discarding three gives Rumble Spell Shield, and I feel like the spell shield is uh not really necessary. Um Like a lot of the time you could probably just discard like two get impact and quick and quick attack and call it a day we can play mare here tenor of terror let's just keep going incredibly wide we've got the yordle explorer already yordle ranger is hysterical and it, we could play it next round if the mare survives We'll just uh, slam in the fear. Oh my God, this is so broken. I secretly love it though. <laughs> this card. <laughs> oh, you didn't answer my tutu. It's too late. It's too late. I've already gotten too much value. I actually um, trolled. I should have uh, got a free block there before those resolved. Totally my fault. I wasn't even paying attention. I'm drunk with power. <laughs> Playing Yordle Explorer does so much damage to your development as a player in the long run. <laughs> oh my god. I love it. Are they thinking about conceding here? If I'm playing Ken and Ari, I'm like, I've got Palm, I've got um, Homecoming, it's Daijobu, right?
Okay. Now, <laughs> block again. Uh, we'll pull Ari. Hmm. Do we want to pull anything? I suppose just for like forcing through value, we can just pull Kenan. <laughs> Parry this. <laughs> My one mana four or five with spell shield and impact. You've got to sacrifice a bit more. Like, oh my wa mo. This deck is going to degenerate even further. They're going to start running get excited and then it's just curtains for everybody. Because you'll be like, I'm at six. I'll just block and stabilize. And then they just double get excited and you die. Eye of the Dragon will save you. I'm playing a board-based deck, so Eye of the Dragon hard counters me, right? And then they're going to start getting uh, tons of cannons and stunning. I think they have an out. They might be able to stabilize and then just maybe do an OTK combo with Ari. And they do have uh, Ezreal. I'm just, I'm trying to give my opponent some credit here. I don't think they actually have a chance, but I'm not entirely sure what this archetype is capable of. I just know it's good, right? My instincts tell me that this, what they're doing is very, very strong. I'm just not sure how it's going to affect me. Oh no, Poppy. <laughs> oh no, my board is so tanky. They must have twin for the Ari to threaten an attack like this. They've got to summon one more Kennen. Yo, we got that raid from Rolly Attack. Welcome in, welcome in. Hope you had a good stream, Rolly Attack. We can do this. So we have a uh, spell shield to play around like homecoming or something. But if they homecoming, then Ari doesn't swap a Reno anyway. So I guess we just do this for tech here. Because we kind of want this to live. If they've got twin and this dies, then so be it. Even Mare can block there. Let this all go through. We get the fall from Zap Mal. Thank you and welcome to the knighthood. I should have uh, reversed the block here. Or uh, blocked with the Mare down here. My This block is hella troll. Don't, don't ever block like this, chat. My Braum deck didn't quite work out like I wanted it today, but it is okay because we had Santa Poros. That's all that matters. That's definitely all that matters is you get the, the Santana Poros. Let's just play Poppy. So, oh my God. If, and this is plus one, plus one from Furyhorn Crasher. If I still had Yordle Explorer in play. Oh, cool, cool. They're popping off. They're going for it. I could go for Conch here. To see if I can fish up like a purple berry shake because they can uh, resummon Kennen and double mark to kill Poppy. And then Kennen levels up. Yeah, so they're, they're holding the fort and then they proc their Eye of the Dragons to get more blockers. Hell yeah, they're totally doing it. Um, yeah, I guess there really isn't anything to be done. Doing good, cute bun. Welcome in. We can just let Poppy die. All they're doing is just keeping me from achieving maximum overwhelming value, but my board is still really, really good. And like I said, I could have, if I was like really wanting Poppy to live, I could have gone for Conch, overwritten like the Flame Chompers or something, and then tried to, and then pray for like Purple Berry Shake or even Suit Up. No, 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 Suit Up is base cost four. So, uh, Conchologist can't find it. Um, get excited. <laughs> Do what you must, I have already won, essentially, is how we're doing it. And then we just have Yordle Ranger to attack next round. Oh, also, I've got a, this helpful PSA about spell mana for everybody. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I really care.
that could be very interesting to see. You can recall Omenhawk, an inspiring mentor. Freljord Ionia, you know, could actually be pretty saucy this patch. Yeah, so they're blocking with everything. There's Retreat. Mystic Shot. Are Fury Horns from Freljord? Uh, it's a Freljord uh, mech. Hmm. Do I care if they get Kennen back now that they've used a second card? Yeah, we're just killing Ezreal. Anyone tried to combo aloof with Ari? No, I haven't seen that yet. Ari's like recursion is going to be incredibly strong. It's going to open up uh, some sweet decks. It's weird I, that I've taken so much damage. Ooh, lecturing Yordle is godlike. A 5 7, good heavens. Because the Fury Horn Crash is just gonna, it just keeps on going. And now that they're down to one eye of the dragon, they can't hold me back as hard as they were doing. Ari, yeah, still not close to leveling. Kill an elusive with the poison dart. Here comes Kennen. They're gonna try to re- they have Mark of the Storm to do some shenanigans. I could just go for get excited on Ari right now. No, this is fine. We can let this through. Because then we have Get Excited to respond to another recall or a twin. Yeah, so we can just do that. Um, this has Spell Shield, so... Actually, Kenan will get a third mark when he's blocked. So they would be able to get rid of the Fury Horn Crasher. So let's just do that, I guess. Hmm. I guess I want to force it, maybe. This is very cool. If Ezreal's in play, then they get, like, Mark of the Storm. Crazy Mark of the Storm value. And now that they're dropping down... No, this is fine. Because we still get the Franken block here. Still have a full board. Still have Yordle Ranger. I guess I should be maybe overwriting some stuff with Squeaker to try to get something big like uh, Trumpet Cheddar. Trumpet Tecker. They should make an easier way to buy all the missing cards. Yeah, there was uh, there was uh, some feedback given that uh, p players would like the ability to like import a deck and then just hit one button for like craft all missing cards. Okay. They're just doing stuff at us. Earthshaker. Which is discounted by Mare. Like, as long as I can keep forcing him to block, we win. You know what I mean? Have you tried the Ezreal Cannon deck? No, no, I hadn't gotten around to it. I was playing just like the Ari Cannon, just raw value sort of recall deck. The Ezreal just kind of gives you an over-the-top win condition. 
They uh, they got the Ezreal down, but it was uh, really poor timing with the amount of pressure I had on board at the time, so they were forced to, like, sacrifice it right away. From what I hear, though, this deck is actually really obnoxious to play against. And so now the Eye of the Dragon is gone, so it's only a matter of time. It's still, it's, it is funny how efficient they're main decking this. Holy shit. Um, it is crazy how efficient the Eye of the Dragons have been from just withstanding this onslaught. We've got Poison Dart that we've got to use up. I could just go for Get Excited to try to kill Ari now that she's elusive. Should I just do it now? They just need a, they just need like to summon a bunch of uh elusive units or draw the second Ezreal, and I think they're good. I've got jury rig still as like free chumps. The marks of the storm are really cute. They're because they're gonna be like, haha, I get to kill your your Fury Horn Crasher. Which has already gotten like obscene levels of value. Oh God, mushrooms. Rip, no Hexite Crystals. What can you do with eight mana? They need like specifically double palm, right? Damn. Honestly, like there was, they, they were not as screwed as it seemed when I hit like Yordle Explorer into like all my nonsense.